So we're going to do some approximations here. In these approximations, I have uh, page 473 in the textbook uh, right here in front of us. Uh, what's not written down is you're going to use this when solving for your function f of x equals 0. And the way you're going to do it is you're going to linearize. And how do we do that? Well, first you need to uh, have an x1, an x coordinate, an x value that's uh, close. It should give you a y value somewhat close to zero, so it shouldn't be like 2 billion, because um, you'll have a lot of work to do if that's the case. That's generally going to be given to you in the problem, and what you're going to do is plug it into, uh, let's see, we'll plug it into, eventually you're going to get right down to here, but you could plug it in right here, and uh, what that will do is uh, you're going to solve for x1, and that's done right down here on the next line. So how do we solve for x1? So we want to get x1 by itself with no friends. So we're going to subtract f of x0 to this side. So it's negative f of x0 divide by this f prime of x0. And then when we're done, add x0 to the other side. So there's the x0 added. Here's that negative f of x0 divided by f prime of x0. That's how you're going to get the next uh, better approximation. Uh, so I misspoke earlier. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be given an x zero. Uh, if you need to get a better approximation, you're going to do the same thing, except your x your original x value is going to be replaced by your uh, slightly better x value x one. So your next better estimate is going to be x two, and it uses the exact same formula, except you see all of these right here, zeros turn into ones. If you have to get a third x value, a better estimation, you're going to get x3, and then all of these ones turn into x2s. And you can keep going and going and going, and you will get a very, very accurate uh, estimate of the x value such that f of x equals zero. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing on these problems, and again, this is page 473 in the textbook. It's a very good place to go and uh, get some extra help and see some examples worked out. So we're about to start working out specific examples.